All right, so today I'm gonna talk about using Plasti Dip to cover your wing. Um, if I stumble here and there, I'm sorry. I'm kind of foggy headed today. I'm not sure why, but we'll get through it. Um, I'm gonna watch the video while I'm doing this and try to match up the audio to the video. But hey, no guarantees. This is a pretty quick and dirty video. I'm not taking much too much time to do it, but I'll explain what I'm doing. So, end the video now. If I can go right to where I need to be. All right, here we go. So you can see I'm just moving and moving the plastic dip around with my fingers. Um, it doesn't take a lot when you thin it out. I use xylene to thin the plastic dip out and that helps a lot with drying time. It, by the time you get done with the right covering and you move to the left, when you get done with the left side of the wing, the right side should be pretty much dry. Um, wear gloves with this because it is messy. Wear a shirt that you don't care about because it's messy. Uh, same thing with pants and this stuff will glop everywhere. So just take precaution, cover your work, you really don't have to cover your workbench because you can just rub it right off of there so there's no big deal of covering that but when it gets on clothing it really sticks in with the clothing. So said using the fingers and kind of measuring stuff out, seeing where electronics are going to go. Uh, if you see on the wing there I have, you see the lines, that's where my wires and stuff go. Well if you plastic dip over that you can just take a small pair of scissors and go down that line and cut it back open. Uh, you could probably use an X-Acto knife too, but I just had little scissors on hand and that's what I used. So going from there, covering the elevons with painter's tape. As soon as you get done putting your plastic dip on, take that tape off because you don't want it to be joined with the plastic dip. Um, I haven't had any problems where if it dries and you try to peel it off, it's going to pull the plastic dip with it. That plastic dip is going to be on that foam like really attached it is not going anywhere especially when you thin it out I noticed if you use it straight out of the can on a smooth surface like uh, on my sky hunter I just applied it right out of the can on there and I can actually peel that off it takes still some effort to get it off but it does come off but whereas this if you sand the foam it is gonna stick to it and when you try to peel that off it's gonna peel off in little chunks and it's probably gonna peel foam off with it especially if you use laminate afterward um, I suggest using laminate after doing this on any wing, even you know, unless it's a really small wing where weight is very important. Um, this Defiant 28 weight is important on it, but it's not as important if you got something like the Sprite. So, kind of, you just got to do a judgment call on what you want to do. If it's something real light, just use paint. Don't use the Plasti Dip method. Whereas the 28, I think it's a large enough wing where it's not going to be as big of a deal as what it would be of a small one. Uh, on average I've noticed on a couple test pieces I've made the weight difference was 0.15 grams per square inch. I don't know what that is metric and I don't have the brain power right now to figure that out. But it, it's not much. It was, I think on this uh, one of my friends calculated it was only like 38 grams. So adjust your CG accordingly to get it to where you need it to be. Uh, I started doing this. I me measured my CG about a quarter inch in front of the furthest point of what the CG is recommended, and it came out perfect. It was right dead on four and a half, so I can add weight to the front or the back to, you know, adjust it to where I need it to my flying style. But if I haven't covered it, toluene or ah, yeah, I don't think I did. Xylene or toluene, those are the two solvents you can use with Plasti Dip to thin it out. You can also use those with Goop and E6000. That way they're easier to apply, it's a thinner coat, strengthens the foam, but you're not adding a ton of weight with it. Uh, toluene was hard for me to find, so I had to use xylene, which worked perfectly, and that's probably just what I'll use for now on. I couldn't find toluene anywhere. But as you can see, now I'm using a brush. I'm just getting all the small spots that you missed with when I mean, you can't I got big fingers so hey there you go go figure that out but the brush don't throw the brush away when you're done either if you get done with the brush just wrap it in like a plastic wrap or even just let it dry and then when you need to use it again just put it back in that plasti dip for a little bit and that solvent will re-dissolve the plasti and you always use that brush for everything else with that color just don't mix colors can well you know how kindergarten was you mix colors you get a different color simple as that so this is just a quick video showing you what I was doing 
And uh, if I miss anything, just leave a comment and I'll try to get back with you. And hopefully you get your wing done, get in the air, and go bashing. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good day.